Good morning. Welcome to day in the life of the Lettering for Love project. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Intea. I'm a hand lettering artist here in Reading, Massachusetts. And about two years ago, actually two years ago to this very day, I started a very special project that is near and dear to my heart and completely changed my business model, made me happier as a person, and I'm really excited to bring this project back to life and show you guys what it was like then, redo it now for more businesses around the local area. And first, let me explain a little bit about how it started and what it's all about. Years ago was April 11th, um, 2020. A friend of mine who owns a local business here in town called Anya's Boutique had reached out to me and asked if I would write on their window because at the time their store was closed down. They were selling online, but as a lot of the local businesses were, they could not open their doors to customers in person. And doing so, I noticed just walking through downtown how sad and just kind of dark it was. So an idea came to me. I put out on my Instagram page an idea that had come to me in the middle of the night and I was like, you know what, let me just see if there's any businesses here in town that would like me to also letter on their windows an inspirational message, um, something that, to share with their customers, anybody walking by to see, to just kind of brighten their day and, and kind of brighten up the dark storefronts that were just kind of abandoned, not abandoned, but closed down at the time, not knowing what it was about to turn into. It blew up. Suddenly I had over 28 businesses in Reading alone that wanted this window, their windows to be lettered. Over the weeks and months to come, it expanded and it grew. Um, in total, the project, I lettered over 200 plus windows. Um, I had artists join in from all over the United States in different states, bringing it to their hometown and their surrounding places of businesses that were in their communities, lettering inspirational messages all over their windows. It was amazing. It connected me to so many businesses here in town and all over that I would have never really had the chance to meet had this project not been started. Uh, we made it onto the local news channel, um, Fox 25 News brought us on, Boston 25 News, and it was it was just amazing to see as I was out in the public in, in the communities lettering these windows how much each message resonated with somebody who had either walked by or the business owner themselves. It was all free. It was all just a passion project of mine, something that I wanted to do out of the goodness of my heart and just be able to give back to the community or to the businesses in some way that were closed down at the time due to the pandemic. This project continued on for about as long as I could, uh, I would say through the fall, so a couple of months. And then eventually um, my wedding started to pick back up that had been shut down at the time and I had to kind of put the project on pause. But ever since then, it, it kind of brought me this new sense of, of, of a business model where you know, people were looking to support me, but they didn't know how because they had just got something for free lettered on their window. So we came about with the idea of creating an online sales place, a marketplace uh, on my website that I would sell things that had my lettering on them that they could then support. Because at the time I was only doing weddings. So there was no retail side of my business. Uh, so we had sweatshirts created that had the um, slogans from some of the windows that I had lettered on them. We had t-shirts, hats, a ton of merchandise and a portion of the proceeds from all of those sales went to the Greater Boston Food Bank. So we were able to raise over $2,500, provide over um, 6,000 meals for homeless and um, it was just so amazing to see that the project was not only doing something nice for, for the community, but then also giving back in a sense too. So it, it was just, it was crazy how this, this one little idea, this one little project kind of evolved into a, a new business model for me. Um, I was able to keep my, my retail business, my business afloat because at the time I had 200 weddings that, that were booked for the year that all canceled or rescheduled at the same time. So suddenly this business of mine that was going to be ever flowing and, and it so much to do in one year, it was shrunk down to maybe 10 events. I had to figure out some way to keep my business afloat and little did I know by going out to the community and lettering these windows that it would turn into me going more retail with my business, providing letters on windows and, and putting those slogans onto products and selling them on my, web, my website. And to this day, I am so grateful that 
everybody supported me through that project and the pandemic and has keep, been able to keep my business afloat during some crazy hard times. Coming up on two years now since the project started, I have made the decision to completely stop renting weddings, um, renting out wedding signage and just stick to my retail side of my business. And I will say a lot of that decision came from realizing that I need to be home with my family, you know, wanting more, more time on the weekends and to be able to do projects like this, which this, the time that this project deserves, I never would have been able to do had I had the 10 to 15 weddings a weekend that I've normally was doing. As soon as I made the decision to, to go full retail and to stop doing the wedding rentals, I knew that this project was coming back full force. A little bit different, last time, you know, as people were commenting on my post, I was adding them to a list, we were sorting it through. This year, I'm going to be, um, I had a page created on my website, so it's called Under the Lettering for Love Project. There is a, a, a nomination block that you can submit a, um, or nominate your favorite local business, somebody that you think deserves the uh, lettering on their window and I'm going to do my best in my free time to get out there and letter as many as I can and surprise them with this as like a little gift from me to them to your community. So if you're watching now and you know a business that deserves some love on their windows, please feel free to go on the website under the Lettering for Love Project and nominate, um, uh, submit a nomination for your favorite business that you think deserves some love on their windows and we will be sure to add them to the project and we're gonna try to get to as many as we can in the next couple weeks and months, however long I, I think I can handle taking on this passion project of mine and bringing it back to life. Today is the first day of the project. Myself, Mackenzie, my assistant, Marissa Conley, photography is going to be coming with me and we are going to go to as many local businesses as we can within the three hour window that we have blocked off for the day and surprise them with some lettering. Um, so basically I'm gonna walk up to them, I'm gonna go into their doors and surprise them and say, hey, would you like some free window lettering? Is there an inspirational message that you have that you wanna to relate to your customers? Something that, that you want them to see that you think the community would wanna see and I'm gonna letter it um, for free for them. I also have little gifts that they can give out to their customers as well, little stickers. And I'm just so excited because I know how good it's gonna make me feel. The number one thing that I love to do most is gift giving and my husband will murder me for this because he thinks that I I give a little bit too much. I don't care. The, the more that I give, the better I feel. So I think that I'm just so excited to see the faces on the, the businesses when I, as I walk in and, and let them know that they're about to get something lettered on their window for free. And it, what's crazy is some of these businesses still have the lettering up from two years ago, which I can't even believe that it's lasted this long through like the rain, like we live in New England, so we get rain, sleet, snow, all, all the bad weathers. And for some crazy reason, these windows have held up for two years. So might be taking some of the old ones down and replacing them with new ones, but I'm excited to bring you guys along and show you the whole entire day and start this project back up together. I have a bunch of markers that I've purchased, some window cleaner, paper towels, and we are going to get out there, go surprise some businesses. What I'm going to do today is just start local in Reading with some businesses that I started the project with. So go back to them, see if they want their window redone and stay within our hometown and then as the project goes on and I get more nominations for submissions on my website I will start reaching out to those businesses and getting to them so what we are going to do is once we get the nomination put it in our bank and then on the days that we have dedicated to working on the lettering for love project in my schedule I will go and surprise those businesses and let them know who's nominated them give them a little prize for themselves and then also a gift that they can give out to their customers we have a hundred little vinyl stickers that they are able to give to their customers that came in for the day or the week that they can put on water bottles, they can put on laptops, whatever they choose. And that sticker has a little inspirational message from one of the windows that we lettered, the first ever windows that we lettered for this project.
May your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. Great. Oh, nice. Love it. <laughs> Do fitness, find your fit. Find your fit. Right is one. So tread will be on both. Yeah. Or, or why don't we do the wheel between the two of the windows? Yeah. Like this. Yeah. And then ride as one. one. Find, find your, your fit. fit. Yes. Okay, great. And if anybody asks any other businesses, yeah. you can go on my website now. There's a page for it. And they can submit nominations. Oh. So I'm not doing like and then I'll go in my free time and like surprise people. But I'll let people know if like they nominated someone. Oh, I could nominate someone? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, I want to do that. I don't talk, I'm recording. Okay. 